Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Order has bred disorder. The sea rises to flood the pubs and extinguish the street lamps. Our city will die. Tupane has failed. Lucy has failed. Brudenell and Elliotson. Pearl. All have gone into the night. It is up to me now. Brush my car off, peasant! Men have become monsters, barreling toward us, teeth out. Our civilization must survive this onslaught. To prevent a return of the Dark Ages, I will start anew. He's got that vanilla bayo. London must be reborn. Damn, dudes. All right, here we go. So welcome to sequence nine, the final sequence of Assassin's Creed. We've got all we need. Four more missions. Hold on. Better to get visual verification. If we're going to move, we need to be 100% sure. We'll only get one shot before Otso Bird crashes down on us. Gotta agree with Sean. We'll position ourselves near the palace. But we'll wait for you to sync the genetic data before we move. It's all up to you, Initiate. I got gotcha. you. All right, yeah, anyway, so this is sequence nine, the final sequence of the game. There is a World War one or two. I don't remember which World War it was. I think it's World War two. Probably World War two, I would guess. But there's a, a World War sequence. It's kind of like a bonus thing that you could play at the end of the game, which we definitely will be doing. But uh, for now, for the, uh, the actual main story of this game we're down to the last sequence there are four total missions in this one so it should be pretty interesting i'm looking forward to it. i hope you guys are too and let's see how everything ends with jacob and evie against mr steric you're late steric is making his move the piece of eden is somewhere inside buckingham palace let him have it i've seen your handiwork across the city perhaps you should trust my judgment I've been killing Starrick's henchmen. What have you been doing? Let's ask Henry, shall we? I have been repairing your mistakes. Too much haste is too little speed. Don't you quote father at me. That's Plato. And I am sorry, this doesn't involve anything you can destroy. Father was right, he never approved of your methods. Father is dead! Enough! I have just received word from my spies. At the palace ball tonight, Staric plans to steal the piece of Eden. It's not and happening. Eliminate all the heads of church and state. Once more, for all time's sake. And then we're finished. Agreed. So what's the plan? I don't know why there's so much hostility, man. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Such an why unexpected delight to friends? visit you both. <laughs> What is the news on the street? What's up, Gil? Mrs. Disraeli, we have discovered that there is something inside Buckingham Palace that could threaten the... <laughs> what my sister's failing to say is that we require entrance into the ball tonight. <laughs> Impossible! Even if there were any invitation cards remaining, which there are not, uh, someone of your lowly station... If that... Damn fool Gladstone is attending this evening. They can have my card. Perfect. Then I'll go alone. Mrs. Disraeli, if you'd be kind enough to inform my darling brother of the location of the Gladstone's residence, perhaps he could use his considerable skills to commandeer their cards. <laughs> what fun! Did you hear that, Dizzy? We're going to pinch the Gladstone's invitations. Thank you for volunteering me, sweet sister. Oh, a pleasure, brother, dearest. <laughs> now, Mrs. Disraeli, if Lots you of sarcasm here. Me, I must visit with the Maharaja. It occurs to me that he may have a second set of plans to a certain vault. 
All right, so we are going to go steal a couple of invitations to this ball so that we can uh, stop Steric. Nerve of Evie. Treating me like a Where's our money at? Money's right here. I want to open up the safe, collect the income. All right, reach the Gladstone's house and don't kill any policemen, it says. Right down here. Any fast travel points? There's got it. Did we have so many fast travel points in this map at this point? There's got to be a fast travel point. Is fast travel not allowed right now since we're on a mission? Probably. That kind of sucks. It's quite a ways away. Alright. A little bit... Unnecessary to have it. I'm trying to take the checkpoint off. There we go. It's unnecessary to have a checkpoint and a mission objective on the same spot. So give us two different numbers. All right, boys. Well, we want to get down. We definitely want to try to get a uh, carriage of some sort. Be able to traverse a little bit quicker. Otherwise, that's going to be a very, 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 very long run. 1,200 freaking meters. All right. Looks like we found one. Entering unstable areas. Looks like our... Our memories are failing us. Got two horsepower on this bad boy. We're going to be super quick. Out. I'm not trying to hit you guys, just trying to get there. That's all. Just gonna say how I'm like concentrating hard and not talking, not blabbering to try to not hit a bunch of things along the way there, and then we literally hit every single thing we could possibly hit along that street. Nice. Three hundred meters away, boys. Remember, don't kill any police. Talk to this little girl. We are anonymous. Come on. You wouldn't happen to have seen two carriages pass by here just now. I did, sir. One with a man in it, the other with a woman. They split. Uh oh. Where did the man go? That way. Thank you. I'm gonna grab this thing first. You can do my property. Now we need to reach Mr. Gladstone's location. How on earth could we have tracked this down? A man and a woman. One went this way, the other one went that way. And we're just like, all right, 600 meters away. We got it. We're on the trail. A lot of driving, boys. We can't fast travel. This is 
This is rough life on the thumb. My thumb started to get tired all these times I'm slapping this horse in the booty. I'm on the right track. A private party event. Don't mind if I do. Well, there's a policeman at the top of the building across the way, so we gotta be careful. Pockets full of posy. Alright. Get in! Oh shit. Mr. Gladstone must be shielded at all costs. So help me when I find you. Where do you think you're going? Unfortunately, we just gotta get out of here. supposed to do this ready for anything show yourself if you dare. seriously how are we supposed to do this without them seeing us I'm starting to think maybe we'll just kill him I think we're just gonna kill him, guys. I don't want to mess with it. Do not let Mr. Gladstone out your sight. I just realized what we could have done. Instead of killing them, we could have knocked them out. Maybe That's what it wanted me to do. It wanted me to knock them out instead of just straight up killing them, which would have... It would have made it a little bit more difficult than what we did, but not much. So we definitely could have done that, and I feel kind of bad. I didn't even think about that. For the most part, the options in Assassin's Creed are... Kill or let live, so I just I wasn't thinking about knocking out. That we should have done that though, that's alright, whatever. The optional objectives make it fun, but it's also fun to just kind of slit some throats every now and then. That's what no, I don't know why she would say that. I guess she wouldn't really say that, would she? Mrs. Gladstone's under guard. Better be cautious. Better wait until she's alone. Oh, 
She's alone right now. Now is my chance. One should not attend the Queen's Ball without making a proper entrance. Hijack Miss Gladstone's carriage and do not damage it. Is the optional objective. Alright, nice. That was much easier than the other one we had to do. Alright. We've got to get outside and they're making it difficult for me. What's this? Swords must be left at the door by order of the Queen. Freddy will know what to do. All right, we're gonna try to deliver this without damaging it. Whoa, then. What counts as damage is my question. We're gonna make this extra hard. We're going full speed and we're going the wrong side of the road. <laughs> well, we made it all the way to the front door, but still couldn't quite. Slow down now. Alright. There we have it, boys! Double trouble's been completed. Let's move on to mission two of the sequence.